starting to worry right now about long-term damage. Singlets and Harrys conduct a final patrol before closing the beach. Just come back into shore. Then, a report of an injury. A child comes running up, and on a closer look, it's my 14-year-old son. No, I banged his head. Some guy's dead. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Yeah. My initial reaction was one of absolute surprise. I was absolutely racked with fear. Singlet's older son takes them to find 11-year-old Noah. Um, how far down? Hearing that your son's not breathing well, I knew I had to support Singlet's and get him up to his son quite quickly. It's Singlet's son. At this point, I have no idea what's wrong with him. They establish Noah collided with a local body surfer. I don't know where he was because he was completely submerged under the water and then I just felt his head kind of hit me over here. I thought something had happened to his neck and then he got up and he was feeling his back. So his head would have folded when he hit. So he hit pretty hard, did he? Yeah. Lifeguards take potential spinal injuries very seriously. When he took a deep breath in, he did have pain in the midsection of his spine, that thoracic region. Take that deep breath again for me. What's that out of 10? What's that pain? Got motor function, he's got movement, but the rest is still a little bit unknown. Okay, don't try and be a hero. Like, it's okay if you're in a lot of pain, like, um, you know what I mean? I just want you to be honest, because then we can work out how to treat it better, you know, like. After a head-to-toe assessment of Noah for a spinal injury, he didn't have any loss of feeling or sensation. So I thought it was okay to transport him up on the buggy up to the lifeguard tower. It's more mu probably muscular. Yeah, right. Just yeah, careful, slowly, 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 slowly. I'm panicked, I'm worried, I'm nervous. There's so many emotions going on here right now. Yeah. Has you any tingling down your fingers at all? No. no? When you stood up, yeah, did you feel weak at all? A little bit weak, yeah. He's a very tough kid and shows no emotion. So I could see tears in his eyes and I could tell that he was really struggling with this, but he wasn't going to outwardly show it to anyone. Just be honest with us, because I, I don't want you to kind of mask it and say it's all right. And then we think it's OK, we send you home and everything, and then tomorrow you can't move your neck, you know what I mean? Like, when we got him to the tower, I definitely looked back and, and thought, oh, could I have handled that a little bit better? And, and should I have, you know, got the spinal board involved? And, and should I have done more? Sit there now and take a big breath and we can... You still, you still I saw that. You're still getting a pain in the back, aren't you? A little bit. Uh, that's why I was so thankful that Harry's was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to get an ambulance? Yeah, okay. Because I, I just want to get it all cleared out and I want to make sure that it's safe and sorry. Spinal injuries can be difficult to detect. I'm starting to worry right now about long-term damage. Lifeguards are concerned he may have suffered a spinal injury. I know you are, I'm just a bit upset, that's all. No, because I'm worried about you and I'm... Scary. He was being a tough little soldier. Being a child, you don't understand the severity of, of the repercussions or, or the incident itself. But we'll feel better if we know what's really going on anyway, so... Yeah, then Dad can sleep tonight. Yeah, <laughs> after I've called your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Noah, yeah. my name's Rob. Right. Can I have a feel of your head and your neck? Is that OK? You don't have to move. You stay right there, mate. You stay right there. He did the same thing to the call taker. Any pain there when you're doing that? Right. Grab my fingers again. All right. Now push towards me. All right. Any pain there? Yeah. What about when you pull to you? Yeah. Okay. Is it in this region here? Yeah. Okay. And when you take a deep breath, it hurts. 
paramedics decide no one needs more tests. It was a great relief that, you know, Noah was going to be in expert hands and the fact that they didn't put him on a spinal board and, and, and do all of that was also a little bit of a relief to me because I thought that, you know, we, we'd done the right thing as well. It was consistent with our treatment. You want to jump in there, mate? Yes, thanks. Yeah, I'm stressed at the moment. Yeah. Wheeling him out of the tower on a stretcher and, and getting into the ambulance was a um, really, really tough situation for any parent. Noah was sent to hospital, but released after a series of tests. He's a little bit ginger, but yeah, he's, he's doing well considering what he's been through. He has a paraspinal bruising and a mild concussion. What are you doing? I just played my phone. Do you want any more Panadol or are you, you OK I'm for good. now? I'm OK. Um, have you got a headache at all or are you just...? No, I'm good. Just taking it really easy. No beach today, no waves, no body surfing. <laughs> Probably out of 10, you know how this morning it was a bit sore, is it? Probably like two. Two. I'd have to sum up the whole experience as being the most incredibly surreal thing that's probably happened to me in my life. And the feelings of being overwhelmed, I'll never forget. Rest up, all right? Okay, see you too, Ram. See you. <laughs>